Hello, my name is Mark Walsh and in this video you'll get a clear idea of what spirituality is and how you might develop it. So the word spirituality um, is quite confusing, it means different things to different people and this often leads either to sort of cynicism on the one hand or a kind of vague fluffiness on the other. I'm actually no expert on this subject but I am someone who's passionately curious about it and um, here's, here's what I've found out so far. So really it's nothing exotic, we're just talking about what has meaning and um, when, I, when I'm in workplaces that I, I deliver training in, that's often how we talk about it, what, what has meaning. And this, this comes up when I'm doing stress training or leadership training because it's just part of being a human being. Um, one, one definition I like is what has ultimate value, what is of ultimate concern. It's a nice, simple definition of spirituality. Wikipedia adds that it's about alleged immaterial reality. I think that's a mistake because it makes it sort of some kind of magic. There's a philosopher called Ken Wilbur who speaks a lot about this area. He says there's actually nine different ways in which the, spirit, the word spirituality is used, and three in particular, which are states, stages, and lines. Now, spiritual states can refer to altered states of consciousness, maybe through drugs or through meditation. Um, it could be peak states, peak experiences, flow states, uh, they call them in the zone in sports. So these are something that many people experience at some time, but certain people have different practices to work on developing. It needn't be anything exotic. States can just refer to being present, being aware, being mindful, perhaps being compassionate. Yeah, these are all states of being. Now states come and go, but there's also stages. So this is how we grow as people. In this way, you might say someone's more spiritual than someone else, in the sense that while a baby can have a particular state, um, they haven't really matured yet, they haven't grown, and that growth continues into adulthood. Usually what defines growth in this sense is greater care and perspective, so the ability to have greater perspective on things, and also your, what's called circle of care grows from me to my group to everyone. The nature of the self and identity also changes quite radically as, as these stages develop. So the next area we can call the, the spiritual line or the spiritual... Um, Spiritual intelligence, in the same way as we have cognitive intelligence, emotional intelligence. There are people that have really mapped all the individual skills that you can be smart in this, in this way. Um, Cindy Wiggleworth's book is a good one on spiritual intelligence. You might also want to differentiate between spirituality and religion. A lot of people I speak to today say they're spiritual but not religious. Um, spiritual being more about the internal side of things and religion being about the external forms. I'll point you to Stuart Davis's video on this for a light-hearted look into this a little bit more. So perhaps more useful than getting bogged down in definitions of what spirituality is, um, is how do we develop it? So what are the specific practices that can develop spirituality? Well, there's a whole bunch of different areas that, that, that are included. Um, there's a book by a guy called Roger Walsh, No, no Relation. Um, great book where he, he details seven main areas. And some of these areas might be things like concentration practice, awareness practice, working with um, service to other people, working with emotions and motivation, also working with ethics, maybe even kind of creative practices. So we each, because of our culture, because of our personality, we might be inclined towards one kind of practice. And it's also really important to have some balance when developing these spiritual areas. So all concentration, for example, might make you very sharp, but without a compassion practice or some kind of service practice, it might be lacking something. So balance is important there too. So that's just a very brief introduction to this area. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts too. So please put in the comments what, what, it, what spirituality is to you. What are your spiritual practices? Um, you know, for some people, it's very down to earth things like spending time with their family or cooking a good meal. It means different things to different people, so I really want to acknowledge that. And uh, remember to subscribe too if you want more videos of, of this nature. Thank you.